Hello and welcome to another review. Happy New Year, New Year, New Camera. Uh, yeah, I just did a review on some of these, uh, <coughs> which were upload, uh, filmed just before New Year, so I didn't say Happy New Year or anything. Uh, so, you know, last time we had uh, Game, uh, Orange, Arms, uh, Dark, Wizard, uh, now I should go Forze, and you know, just put in the background some of the older ones I've reviewed. Um, Birth. Hurricane Wizard and Land Wizard. By the way, uh, I did repaint Forze a little bit. Like so. Uh, the black lines down his arms, silver on the back, silver black in the back, uh, black on the bottom of his shoes. And uh, yeah. So, uh, Also a bit on his belt as well. By the way, new year, new camera, and more reviews. So I uh, hope you guys got something nice for your Christmas. Uh, I don't know, some toys, or maybe uh, a new tablet computer, or, or whatever. Just, uh, you know, speaking of tablets, if you got an iPad or anything, then burn it. Uh, <laughs> uh. So, uh, new year and such. Um, in last video, I mentioned that her little bag, baggy, came uh, with tape. Uh, I just thought, thought maybe all the new ones have tape and Forze was just a recycled thing and it didn't have tape but that's that's not true because all the new ones that I'm going to review today don't have tape on them as well. But as always let's go ahead and look at the uh, boxes first. So, <coughs> last time I have Gaim and uh, Dark Wizard box, so I put that to the side. And we also had the Forze and uh, now she's go boxing, put that to the side as well. So today, some more single packs and double packs. And let's do a focus thing. Uh, let me just stretch my arm that's so far away for this. This isn't working. This isn't working at all. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, come out a guy in pineapple arms and uh, very pineapple y. <clears throat> That's what it looks like on the back. Uh, the other three figures. Uh, Baron, Banana Arms, Melon Arms, and Ryuki. I didn't get Ryuki because I don't need another Ryuki figure. The reason why I'm getting this, we didn't see my last video, is because uh, I think Bandai's not doing the uh, high grade, the HG line anymore. There's no digital grade, no high grade, nothing so, the, sort of this scale. So if I want to carry on making custom camera the Lego minifigures, I'm going to have to get some of these. Uh, I did say that they were doing keychains of Gaim figures, but I haven't seen them anywhere in Hong Kong or any of the Chinese auction sites, so uh, this was like, the best option I could get. Uh, in terms of scale, these things, their heads are slightly bigger, but uh, as long as all my Gaim figures are the same scale, then this should be okay. So, here's the box of uh, Baron Banana Arms. By the way, if you want a closer look at this, as always, I'll be taking photos and posting them on Facebook so you can head over there and check them out along with all the other photos of the other stuff. Melon Arms. As you see, I got some of the double packs as well, so... It seems they're getting the, uh, the more general figures in the single packs and then, you know, they're forcing you to get double packs for the more special figures. So first of all, we got the uh, Ichigo arms, the strawberry arms, uh, along with uh, the, I, I guess he's a walnut or something. Um, if they read, the box is nice, uh, photos of the actual people and not the figures. But on the back, they don't have you know the other figures on the back. You know, just have it on the side. See here the side here. So it's, you know the back is just a photo of the actual figures, uh, and the scale is slightly smaller so that's really annoying really uh, you don't have the actual scale printed onto these boxes anymore they do the single packs 
which uh, can bother some people because they're thinking, oh, how big, if, they never, if you never buy this, it's really hard to tell uh, what the exact size of these things are, so it was nice to have that printed on the box before. Uh, number two, we have uh, the grape, uh, is that Budo, is that Budo? Uh, and the Durian Arms Rider, the uh, transvestite. <laughs> A really strong transfer, I don't mess with him or her or whatever. Uh, yep, picture of the figures on the back. <coughs> you got uh, Baron in the uh, mango arms and the other nut guy. It's really, uh, is that the hammer one? I think. No, that's not the one. No, the one with the hammer is the really effeminate one as well. Whatever. And uh, finally, we have. Uh, the watermelon arms. Uh, yeah, watermelon arms. Uh, so, ooh. yeah. Uh, I think this is what they were going for with the double packs and such because this thing would never fit in a single pack, and the boxes would you know would be bigger than the other smaller packs. So. Uh, in order to get around that, I guess they were like, uh, either they thought, oh great, we have double packs now, we can fit this thing in, or they thought, we got to fit this thing in, so let's do double packs so it fits into the rest of the packs. Let's look on the top. Let's <coughs> look on the back. Now that's really not to scale, of course. So then all the other ones on there. So enough of uh, the boxes, let's actually look at the figures. Uh, let's go with... Uh, all the uh, Gaim ones first, so um, you know, put put orange arms in the middle for comparison. Alright, so game and such. Uh, they look pretty good, I guess. Uh, of course, all of them have the same feet piece because, you know, we cycle plastic and stuff, we cycle molds to uh, reduce the price. Uh, and they look good, they look appropriately uh, shiny and such. Uh, with pineapple arms, he's got these little green things popping out. But uh, he's really distracting when he is just like, as always, only half painted. Uh, but the t his head helmet is painted all the way around. Uh, one thing to note is I tried paint when I tried painting the uh, Forze figure with the uh, Gundam marker pens, uh, it doesn't stay on. So if you're trying to paint these yourselves, you need an actual paint. Um, Gundam marker pens, uh, they, they rub off. If you if you you know just, if you just do that, eh, 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 and uh, all that black and silver and such, it will rub off the uh, Forze figure. Now uh, I I didn't you know that happened to me, and then I repainted the Forze figure. And uh, it's been lying around for quite a few days now, so, um, you know, if you know about painting molds and such, uh, people tell you you got to let the paint cure, which means you got to let the paint harden and set over time, which is usually uh, like a day or a few days, depending on your paint and such, something like 48 hours. So, now that's that happened, um, I'll try rubbing the Forze feet. And Okay, so... Black is not coming off Forze's feet. So yeah, if you're gonna paint these uh, with Gundam marker pens, you gotta let these figures sit for a while <coughs> so that the paint doesn't rub off and such. Zoom! So, and as you can see, uh, all of them have the same belts and such, so I put them... Um, so Ichigo arms is slightly better because uh, he has, you know, fully painted uh, arms, pretty much. Apart from the back, his helmet and uh, ooh, short focus point, and the sides are painted. So uh, in that sense, he's a lot better than uh, pineapple arms. It's just nice to compare these for funsies. Uh, another thing with pineapple arms is because the chest piece is, uh, I guess you can say the color maybe slightly off. So, uh, again, these figures are great for molding detail, but in terms of colouring detail, eh, yeah, yeah, you, I mean, these are cheap, what do you expect? And if you didn't know these, they only have these articulations, arm rotation, and uh, hip, waist rotation, uh, 
and of course they are so soft that they are bendable because they are hollow. Uh, and actually really decent if uh, say Disney start doing that with Avengers or something, you know, just have, buy these little, little bags, really cheap figures. Uh, let's, let's look at uh, Baron because you know he's like the second rider. Uh, so banana arms, right, oh, I think his legs are warped so he doesn't stand too well. Please stand. And uh, the mango arms. Just for God's sake, stand. Uh, like it's red, and of course both of them, uh, both his forms are red with a yellow fruit. Uh, I guess yellow fits really well with red. I mean, it's just pretty much very Donkey Kong to me, because I don't know the bananas and such, and monkeys, yeah, sure, and gorillas. But uh, yeah, this is very, this is like coming around the Donkey Kong. Uh, oh, for God's sake. That's one of the problems with these. If, if they come shipped slightly warped, you're screwed. You need to do the hot water trick where you get boiling water and sort of so just melt, the not melt the plastic, but soften it so much and you're going to have to bend and twist it back into this right, correct shape. And hopefully, it was set. I'll just put my t fingers on their toes so they don't fall over. Um, Baron's banana arms, I, I don't... It really puts me off that his uh, armor there just slightly slanted, like someone just chopped a bit off. It's it seems weird to me. I don't like it too much, but uh, overall it looks okay. I just remember I couldn't stop laughing when he first henshined, and it's just a giant banana stuck on his head. It just stood there for a while, like what the hell are you doing? This is ridiculous. Uh, hilarious, but uh, well, same with all of them really. With the uh, when the henshining is really stupid looking, but. Uh, you know, once the arms are on their body, they look pretty decent. Uh, here they look pretty decent, it's just, you know, like I said, I'm not used to that bit being chopped off. Uh, of course, Mango Arms have these capes on him, and being a vine, soft vinyl toy, the capes are just going to be there, so, you know, when he moves his hand up, it's like Dark Wizards. It's really awkward, it's got this cape, it's a solid piece of cape that just moves up. Uh, looking at the back detail, yeah, a lot of molding detail right there, but of course nothing is painted. Uh, the only paint you see here is that he doesn't have any, but uh, the mango arms have the yellow on the back, and the, these mango bits on his arms do get painted all the way around. And uh, you know, he's got this cape thing on the back, which I mean, yeah, you still have the articulation, but you're chopping the cape up when you're moving his body. What are you gonna get? What are you gonna do? These are cheap figures, and of course, if you look at the bottom. Uh, their feet are completely identical because you know, money saving, and that's what they look like. Well. That one's got a slight difference in the back, but uh, it's definitely saving a lot of money on the front printing and front molding. Uh, next, let's look at the uh, the two sort of brothers in this series. Yeah, just go stand still. Uh, yeah, uh, these guys look pretty good. Uh, of course, they're not really the same as the other ones. They're not really that fruity, <laughs> but uh, they they look decent. Um, I like this guy more than the other one. They're both sort of Japanese armored warriors. Uh, I think. Or is it slightly more Persian? Not sure. Uh, their feet molding is pretty identical to each other, and I'd say it's identical to. almost identical to Gaim's. Uh, slight different patterns, but overall very similar. Uh, they look pretty good. Uh, the colours are nice, especially this guy. He's got quite a few different shades of colouring, because uh, both of them have nothing on the back at all. So that can be slightly boring, but they look okay. They look okay. Next, uh, come on, uh, Budo arms. Great arms. I like this guy maybe because I'm Chinese and I like the Chinese armour. Even if it has been foot, footy sized, uh, he's, he's even got back print, uh, painting. You know, the purple and the gold on the top of his helmet. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's also got some pipe things going on on his back. Uh, hmm. uh, I, I just really like his base form. You know, with all the Chinese robe and stuff. I like really like stuff like Dynasty Warriors and your know, Three Kingdoms and such. So if Guan Yu was ever going to be a Kamen Rider, he'd have something similar to this. You know, wearing some something some sort of similar armor just like this, uh, so he looks good to me. Um, no comments on the Kiwi arms because I only seen it once. I can't remember what it looks like anymore. But uh, his default form looks pretty decent. 
And of course he's only the, he's one of the only gun using riders, so he's sort of a douche that way. Like, you know, DN and such. Um, next we have Melon Arms. Uh, he looks he looks really good in the show, but here the figure looks really odd. He looks chubby. You know, he just looks weird. Uh, not, notice that his, his hands actually spray out a lot more than the other figures. So he, you know his arms are more uh, more outward uh, because his legs are I re this time really are identical to Gaim's because he's also a Japanese warrior, so he has the same feet, just different colors. Uh, the green and the white, the metallic green and such, they look nice, just, I don't know why, it just looks fat here. Uh, he has back printing there, which is decent, I guess, but uh, overall, it's not too good. Uh, I did see that article where he uses the energy lock seeds and turns into another version of Melon, which looks okay, looks... F reminds me of American Toys, where they futurize their action figures of certain animated series, like Batman Beyond. Where you got like all these computer versions and transparent versions, and yeah, it looks cool, but you know, it doesn't really fit with the show. And it, but you know, with Japanese toys they will fit with the show, so let's see how that goes. Uh, and the last rider we have today is the uh, Durian rider, the transvestite, hey, the cake maker army dude, ex army dude. Yeah, I don't know if it's uh, ironic or not, but uh, when it came out, uh, the box is feet are sort of slammed to the side, like ho 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 ho. Uh, the modeling detail is excellent on this, especially with the Julian suit. There's all these horns coming out of the arms and such, and uh, I guess they do get kind of sharp, uh, especially the ones on the shoulder pads and the ones on the helmet. Those those are sharp. So uh, if you're getting these for kids, watch out. It's not gonna pierce this skin or anything. Like I'm pushing it down on it, but you know if I if I did that and just ow, it, you know it would hurt. Uh, so you know, be mindful of that. But all these small spikes are fine. They're not sharp enough or long enough to hurt. In fact, you probably use it to massage yourself. Um, you know, this one's obviously a like Roman uh, armor going thing going on, uh, or Greek, not sure. I think it's Roman. It's got this little thing here. So it must be Roman. A uh, bit of paint going on the back there, but uh, you know, looking at her or him from the side, the helmet is really distracting. That doesn't have any paint there. It cuts off too soon. So slight issue right there. And finally, let's go on to the Watermelon Beast. So finally, we have this small watermelon thing. Uh, he is definitely the wrong scale because I can stick a rider right next to him. In fact, this exact same height. So the scale completely wrong, which uh, might be very disappointing for some, some people. Uh, it, would, it is slightly for me if I was going to be collecting these, uh, you know, for the sake of collecting, but since I'm going to use these for things with like Lego videos and such, this is a good scale for me. Uh, I can totally picture, I'll just get a random Lego figure, like you know, the classic Two Face or something. You know, the classic Two Face can be sitting in there and it'd be totally fine and be the right scale, so it's good for me. But if you're collecting these soft Fubi or soft final figures for the sake of collecting them, you're going to be sort of annoyed, like, why isn't it bigger? Uh, in terms of molding, it's great. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff going on. He's a lot chubbier than what he should be. He looks like a giant turtle almost. Uh, so in terms of that sense, he's, he's, he's not size accurate or screen accurate uh, in terms of moulding. Paint wise as well, uh, paint is very wrong, it's very off, it doesn't look like anything he should in the show. So a lot of paint missing, he's just a giant hunk of green plastic. And uh, he's got arm rotation, and you'd be saddened to know that he doesn't even have waist rotation. Uh, there's a line there where the two plastic pieces join, but there's clearly glue. Um, which would be an, it's just another disappointment if you're collecting these, because not only is it glued down, but it's clearly glued down. So there's a line of glue just going around the edge. It's like the, 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 I know these things are cheap, but there's like a cheap slap of glue on it, and it looks terrible. So... <coughs> um, my advice is, if you don't really care about this watermelon machine thing, which uh, for me personally, I don't care about. It. I didn't care about that robot thing in in the uh, in the Forza series. Yeah, you know, I just want to see the riders fight in suits, not CGI and all that crap. So, you know, this suit as well is kind of crap in this show. It's just yeah, great, this giant machine mech thing, but who cares? This isn't Metal Gear Solid. This isn't like Gundam or whatever. I don't want giant mech suits. This isn't Aliens. <laughs> with a loader at the end. So, 
you might want to skip on this suit. Uh, it's not that good. It's it's terrible. Even for cheap figure, unless you really really like the watermelon thing, uh, yeah, you might want to skip that. So get to the back, you. Uh, so game. Put that there. So uh, tell me what you guys think. Have you guys been collecting these kinds of figures? Uh, let me know in the uh, comments below. Baron really isn't going to stand. How oh, ironic. He wants to be so strong and stuff. And he can't even stand up straight. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, at some point I'm going to be <laughs> cutting their heads off for, uh, you know, custom Lego minifigures and such. Uh, and uh, I'll be, you know, uploading a video, like an update. I won't be uploading a video for every custom figure I do, but uh, I'll be doing an update to showcase all the different figures I have been doing up to a certain point. In fact, I'm going to do a guy memory update because all my guy memories are finally together in one single place. And I'll solve it. Uh, yeah, subscribe to Jesse, comment below, tell me what you think, and uh, take care and have a nice day. Bye.